overcome by love. I am Apostle Cora Langford, and I have some mighty and amazing women of God with me. And I just want to share with you that you have the victory today. Amen. And that is what we're going to talk Hallelujah. about is yes. God's victory. Mm -hmm. But tonight I want to introduce you as my co-host, as normal, who's always here, <laughs> is Prophetess Lorena. Aww, Thank you, woman of God, for being here. And then Thank to you. my right, I have another prophetess, another Amen. beautiful Hallelujah. and bright woman of God, Pastor Vicki. Thank Amen. you so much Thank for you. coming Thank here. You. And then we have another woman of god <laughs> viviana yes and we thank you for joining us tonight we thank you for taking a step of faith Amen. because i know god has a word inside of you that you need to share Amen. Amen. well so, it's, it's humbling it's very humbling just like a random just hey you want to do this uh all right <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> well praise the lord Amen. would you like to open up in prayer Amen. Amen. So, Father, we thank you. We yes, thank Lord. you that you draw us into your presence each and every day. Thank God, you, we're Lord. hungry for more of you, each and every oh, one yeah. of us. We're hungry for more of you. So give us the more, God. Give us yes, the more Lord. of you, who you are. Show us your nature tonight. Amen. We all want to encounter your presence. Oh, yeah. Let your presence just fill yes, this, the globe Lord. tonight. Let your, yeah. let your presence thank just you, fill Father. the atmosphere right now. And thank I thank you, you for the angels of the Lord all oh, around here thank tonight. You, Lord. We're here to give you glory. Yes. We're here to magnify your name. We're here to exalt yes. you. King Jesus, yes. we love you. Yes, we Lord. adore you. Yes, Lord. And we pray that every single Hallelujah. woman, every single man who's watching tonight will be so encouraged, will be yes. so blessed, will understand more of the nature of God tonight. From the highest praise to the deepest secret place. Amen. Amen. Wow, that was powerful. Thank Thanks you, woman of God, for sharing that. So tonight... You know, the Holy Spirit kind of put on my heart about victory because, you know, there's so many of us that are not living in victory. And, and you know, sometimes, you know, that can just be a, a statement, you know, like, oh, yeah, we got the victory, you know. But really, you're not showing the victory. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm one of those people that, like, you know, hallelujah, I got the victory today, you know. And, and, and today is going to be an amazing day. No matter what, you know, it's like God is, is he already is victorious. You know, when Amen. Jesus was slain on Amen. that cross, he became victory. He became our victory. That's right. You know, so I have to encourage all of you today that you have to claim that you are victorious. You know, it says in 1 Chronicles 29, 11, yours, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the Hallelujah. majesty for Thank all you, that Father. is in the heavens and the earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O oh Lord, and yours is to be exalted as head over all. So hallelujah, Amen. we give God the glory, glory for that. Hallelujah. And you know, through, through, even through the things that we walk through, and, and sometimes our trials and tribulations, it may not seem like we're getting the victory, mm -hmm. but you have, to, you have to claim it. Amen. You have to claim the victory because if you do not claim that victory, then the devil's all over you. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. So, totally Prophet, why don't you share with us about oh, that? Absolutely. And just like you had mentioned, you know, regardless what's going on, I have to declare the promises of God over my life. Mm -hmm. I mean, coming here tonight, I mean, and declaring over you before we get started, you know, each and every one of us, we have everything we need. We don't lack anything. Amen. And so regardless what happened today or the, the bill that came in or um, whatever the news that we just found out, that we will be victorious because Christ is in us. I'm already victorious right. because he knows me and he loves me he's chosen me amen and those promises of god are yes. yes and amen and they will not return void each and every promise and let that encourage you to know yes. you're chosen and the spirit of adoption just be released that you would Ooh, know hallelujah. you're victorious you, you are victorious because he loves you amen prophetess amen and i just want to encourage the people today with the word right here in deuteronomy 24 for the lord your god is he that goeth with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you and sometimes you you do have enemies amen especially when you're serving yep. god yep. and you're living in the secular and you know you have all these things coming against you um and um but we need to know that god has already like you, you lady said given us the victory 
through Christ Jesus. And even whatever you're going through today, I went through something and it was like, oh my gosh, it was so unjust. You know, one of um, my um, creditors was, it was just being unjust with me. And after I got off the phone, I just, I, I, the, well, I actually, while I was on the phone with him, the Holy Spirit restrain me from getting angry wow. that's wow. the work of the holy spirit he'll actually get a hold of listening. you it's almost like yes. he said mm, no you're not gonna yes. you're not gonna get angry today and when i got off the phone i still had nowhere to let it out and i was like i can't let it out anywhere with anybody because my testimony and sometimes we're like that you know and then so i was like god just please help me and then i heard in a, a still small voice in here he said be still and know Amen. that I'm God, True. you know, yeah. and sometimes we forget that God is really yes. fighting our battles. Yes. What he can do is better than what we can do, Hallelujah. you know, because yeah. us in the flesh, man, we're going <laughs> to, we're going to make, we're going to just make it so much more worse. That's but I so just, good. I just feel that just trust and know that he is God. He's fighting for you. Yes. He's going to turn it around. Yep. He's interceding he, for you. Yes. He's interceding. Yes. He's forever interceding right. for us. That's yes. good. So yes. Amen. Amen. So and, and you know what? And that is so true because, you know, that's when, when we are in those tests, you know, it's like we, we have, we can, you know, as, as women of God, you know, we're supposed to be in love in everything that we do, yes. you know, but there are people that will test us. And, yes. and, you know, but even with that said, you know, we just give God the glory because really, you know, no matter what, the Holy Spirit will constrain us. Yes. You know, he will, he will say, wait a minute, just hold on a minute, take a look at what's happening here. Mm -hmm. And then he shows you how the enemy is trying to get you off guard. Yes. And then after you, you see that, then it's like, oh. Thank you, Jesus. Then you start That's praising right. him That's and worshiping right. him, Amen. right? And rejoicing Amen. because because you are victorious, because he is already Amen. victorious. Amen. All right, Sister Viviana. Okay, so I want you to share. So he, here are my here are my thoughts. Okay. Uh, well, let me share something real quick. So my name is Vivian, and I'm actually from Chicago. And the Lord actually, he told me to move out to California. He said, whatever you do next will be the start of your life. And I had everything Amen. back home. I had a full-time job, benefits, my own place. Yes. And I came out here, and my housing fell through. I was homeless for a month. Um, just trial after trial yes. after trial. Yes. Um, and so being able to see the goodness of God and say that he is good is because I'm in covenant with him. Right. And uh, awesome. what the, the power of covenant, actually in um, the Hebrew, the word covenant means bereath. And that means to cut until, the, in, cut until blood is drawn. Mm. Okay? Uh, so in Genesis um, fif uh, 15, uh, it talks about how Abram, he is, he's calling out to God. He's like, God, I, the, the heir to, to all my stuff is going to be my slave. And God's like, no, it's not. Look at the stars. That's how many, you know, descendants That's you will right. have. Right. And, and, and so Abram, uh, he's like, okay, but how can I know for sure that this is, you're really going to take care of me? And so God says the most foundational thing, I think, in the Bible. He says, get a ram, get a heifer, get a, a goat, and get... And, you know, he tells him to get these animals, and Abram just says, okay, because he understands what that means. Yes. And so, to me, that don't make any sense. So, if the Lord yeah. told me in my time of homelessness to get, you know, cows and goats, I'd be like, <laughs> God, you're, you're joking right now, because I can only afford animal crackers. I can't afford <laughs> But... Here, here's the truth is the, the Bible was not written in America. It, it was written in a time where there was no pen and paper, but they had to, if they were going to make something legal, they did it through blood and they did it through making a covenant. Yeah. And there's different types of covenants. Yeah. There's, uh, you know, switching of clothes, uh, and that's exchanging, that's saying, that's basically saying, I take on your weakness, you take on mine. That's the exchange, so and that, good. that's, yeah. that's a team. And so uh, the Lord actually makes a blood covenant with Abram, and what they would do is they would take these animals and cut them right down the middle and walk in a figure eight. And what they, that figure eight is technically the infinity symbol, means forever. And uh, what they would say as they're making this covenant is, if I fail to uphold my end of the bargain, let what happens to these animals happen to me. Yeah. So if you think about it, God could never go back on his word. He yeah. made the covenant with Abram, right. That's right. and uh, Abram 
he actually put Abram to sleep. So the Lord in your most difficult times will put you to rest because he mm -hmm. is in control. Because so he good. is covenant. That's, so That's good. right. Oh. Amen. Praise so, the Lord. I want to know, you said you were, you were homeless for one month. Mm -hmm. So what did God do? Uh, let me tell y'all. So <laughs> I'm over here. You want to hear, yes. So I'm out here like living I'm barely making it. Like, I think I just spent my last money on my last hotel out here in Santa Ana. And uh, I had some family friends come back into town. I, um, I know their family back home, but I don't know them out here. Okay. And they got wind that I was out here. And they're like, hey, you know what? Just come stay over at our house for the night. It was in Yorba Linda in, like, the mansions up in the hills. <laughs> and then uh, they're actually missionaries, so they oh, understand. They actually understand, like, yes. the call of God. And so they said, uh, I was packing up to leave the next day, and they said, no, you stay here now. Wow. And uh, through that, the Lord uh, showed me uh, an understanding of the spirit of adoption, um, mm -hmm. to understand wow. what it means to be a daughter. Because I, I grew up in a pretty abusive home wow. and yeah. all this and that, but the Lord really did healing and restoration in, uh, like, six to nine months I was living with them. Amen. And you know what? And I just want to say this. You know, the Holy Spirit is um, giving me a word Jesus. for you right now. Hallelujah. So I'm just going to share it Lord. because I have to be obedient yes, to God. Lord, he said, even though through all of your turmoils, all of your despair, all of your things that you thought that were good, that maybe weren't good for in God's you know eyes, but, but he forgives you and, and he loves you so much. And that, that because of your repentance, you know, he's going to give you like so many gifts. He's already Perfect, given you yes. gifts right now yes. because you're his child. He has chosen you and he loves you so much. And he has a greater anointing ahead of yes. ahead for you. Um, you know, just how you are coming on TV right now, her first time ever on TV, the Holy Spirit has anointed her to preach the gospel, Amen. to share Amen. the good news, okay. to share yes. everything Thank that she's Jesus. had to go through so that she can be a witness to so many people that don't have the love, who do not have, you know, the favor of God, who do not have these things where, where the enemy has lied to them. But God is showing you grace. God has shown you so much love. And so you can only give love because you are receiving his love. And when you receive the love, you're able to give love. And God says that, my daughter, I have chosen you for a time such as this. Amen. This is your time now. Oh, I feel the Ooh, Holy Ghost. And I'm telling you right Lord. now Lord. that that that. You will not have to, you will not be lacking any yes, financial situation. You, God is going to bring the money to you. He's going to bless you. And because, and because you're a giver, you are giving to people right now without even asking for anything in return. But God says, I will take care of you, my daughter, because you are my daughter. You are my beloved. Amen. And you are the apple of my eye, the Lord Thank says. You, he loves you so much. And I see many other flowers growing up on the side of you. You're raising up. You're going to be raising up many women, oh, and you're going to tell them the Thank truth. You you're going to tell them the truth yes. because you've been in deception for many, many years. But God broke that spirit off her in the name of Jesus, Jesus. and we Jesus. thank you. We thank, thank you, Lord. Jesus. See, that is awesome. victorious. That Amen. is victory right now. Amen. This is a victorious moment right Amen. now, and I thank God thank for my you. sister. Yes. You have eyes have yet to see, ears Amen. have yet, yet to hear. <laughs> for what God's about to do in your life. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Praise oh, God. Awesome. That's so Thank awesome. you, everything. Yeah, everything you know, that God's helped you to overcome, you're anointed. Yes. You're anointed for that. Yeah, and as you testify about his goodness, like you said, you watch what people are going to be so changed and transformed. I totally Amen. agree. This is a place where we raise up people, okay? That's God right. raises them up. We just share the word, That's and right. God does it, right? That's right, yeah. yes. And she is so prophetic because she's talking about those little flowers around you, and those are the children. She actually works with special needs children. Wow. So I believe that God was revealing to me that all those little flowers, but also other women, they're, that you, you, people are just drawn to you. Women are drawn to you, but also those children. That's such a blessing. Yeah, I, I think that's one of my, my, it's not even a job to me. I, I love it. So I just basically, I ride the bus home with the special needs students. And it's actually crazy how the Lord has already uh, used me. There are children who suffer from seizures, who uh, have bipolar, schizophrenia, and I actually just call those jokers out. I, I tell them right, <laughs> right then and there. That's I right. say, say the name That's of Jesus, right. and their countenance That's changes. Right. So, so you are so powerful because you have the Lord. Yes. Amen. 
Amen. So Amen. until you yep. get that kingdom revelation, yes. you, you, you're, you're just going to keep walk you're just gonna keep walking but when you get the kingdom revelation you run because it's like there's a fire oh, under your hallelujah. tail <laughs> yeah. Amen. you know yeah. i just love that because you know what i'm i'm on fire for god Amen. and i want it and i always ask the lord i'm like lord whatever you do please just keep that fire That's going right. inside i don't want to die out i know too many people that have been in ministry for years and they don't have the fire Mm-hmm. And I'm like, Lord, ignite that fire. Do not let that fire die out on me because okay. I, I want to be that torch. I so want God, to be just the light. increase that fire on <laughs> yeah, her right now. Jesus. 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 Double it in Cora's life. Yes. Increase it in everything you've given her and more. Hallelujah. Woo, I feel the fire. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, this segment is about victory. And we just shared a victorious moment. Every one of us have experienced victory in, her, in our life. Amen. Sister, That's right. If you want to share something, you know, we have about nine minutes. So if you oh, want to share a couple Absolutely. minutes. Absolutely. I think, I think I've just gone through so many situations and circumstances as you're describing, whether it was uh, my apartment burned down when I was young oh my or wow. my daughter had multiple heart surgeries. Oh, um, wow. I had a flood in my place and I had to stay somewhere else uh, for three months and a hurricane in 1983, like all these different circumstances that happened in my life, but each and every time I had a choice what I was going to do, and I, w- I decided to seek God. I decided to Amen. get on my knees. Amen. Uh, I remember when the apartment had burned down, and I came home to my mom's house as I was living on my own, mm-hmm. and I remember just sitting there just praying out to God, and I tried to take a nap. It was in the middle of the day. I just wanted to close my mm-hmm. eyes and just rest, and I couldn't, and the thoughts kept running through my mind you should have done this and why didn't you do this and you could have grabbed the fire extinguisher you could have been fast enough and prevented all this property damage and I'll tell you I got tormented by those thoughts but I got on my knees Mm -hmm. and I said God I'm never going to sleep again unless you take these thoughts I know these thoughts are not from you God I just Mm -hmm. I pray right now you take these thoughts all of those lies all those accusations go now in Jesus name Amen. and I lay down I lay down on my bed and I went to sleep and I never had an or- another tormenting thought Hallelujah. again Hallelujah so God. I agree with yeah. you we have we have the authority yes. to shift the atmospheres right. and we don't have to partner with a, uh, when you walk into a room and you feel someone going through depression or you feel someone going through something really challenging you don't have to partner with it you can shift the atmosphere That's in right. love always from love that's as so you're true. you know protecting these kids and you know that's not from god oh, yeah, so yeah. way to go that's awesome mm-hmm. that you've done that amen i just want to share this scripture and i think this scripture is actually for you it says in first john mm-hmm. 5 1 through 5 and this is the new um, living testament it says everyone who believes that jesus is a christ is a child of god amen. and everyone who loves the father loves his children too i know i love god's children if i love god and obey his commandments loving god means keeping his commandments, and that isn't keeping his commandments, I'm sorry, and that isn't difficult. For every child of God defeats this evil world by trusting Christ to give the victory. And the ones who win this battle against the world are the ones who believe that Jesus is the Son of God. (laughs) Hallelujah. (laughs) Woo! (laughs) So praise God. Mm -hmm. Um, Prophetess. Amen. um, If there's something that you would love to share. Amen. And I just believe that right now that, you know, you just have to have faith. Amen. You just got to know that God really has called you. Amen. And, you know, um, just be encouraged. You know, you, some of you guys out there, I feel like somebody feels like they've been thrown out for just trash. And I just want to let you know that that's a lie from the enemy. You do have the victory already won Hallelujah. through Christ Jesus. But just like we're sharing, God will give you the strategies. God's about to give you strategies Amen. for victory. He's about to show you, do you need to get up 30 minutes earlier to pray? Amen. Yeah. Do you do you need to, you know, um, you know, uh, keep uh keep stay busy keep serving the lord you know i know that from me and my husband we don't you know i don't want to have any time for rest you know idle time is the devil's thing i want to keep serving god (laughs) and until i'm exhausted because you know i was thinking about also like man um uh, this this man went and reached out to my dad about a year ago and they they knocked at my dad's house and I told my dad, you better answer the door <laughs> you know? because my dad wasn't saved. And I told him, you know what? He was going through a depression. And I said, you know what, dad? I said, uh, you know, I need you to be the dad I need you to be. I'm always encouraging you. And, you know, you know, you got to go to church now. So I give you seven days 
in seven days you got to go to church so then I'm, re I'm relentless and then he said okay so in the seventh day I sent somebody to his house well actually on a Friday and um, he answered the door and the guy actually led him to the Lord ah, they were hallelujah. there for three hours ministering wow. to him they came back Saturday they came back Sunday wow. and they took him to church that's how relentless we have to be yes. you know with our calling well let me tell you that guy ended up dying last December but you know what he died doing what God called him to do. Amen. Amen. And that's how I want to be. You know, I don't want to die knowing I'm sitting on my calling. I don't want to die knowing that I didn't do what God called me to do. Yes. At least we know that man is in heaven. He's yes. in his 80s. He's, that's he's, so you know, he's serving God. So, you know, we got to be people that we, we, we continue strong, hungry with what God has us to do. You know, if we can run, like you were saying, if we can run with the footman, we can run with the horses and we just got to be busy because, you know, Jesus is Christ is coming back and yeah. we don't know the day or the time he yeah. could come back tonight yes. you know he could come back tomorrow I'm not saying he is because nobody knows the day or the right. hour right. but we got to be busy you know with what God has called us to do amen and, and you know on that note you know the thing is is that you know you have an opportunity right now for those of you who have not received Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior all you have to do is say Lord Come Amen. into my heart. Yes. Forgive me my sins, Lord. Yes, I make you my Thank Lord you, and I make you my Savior. Yes. I will go and do whatever you want me to do. I will serve you. Yes. That's all you have to say. God, the Holy Spirit will do the rest for you. He will transform your so heart. Good. He will change you. You will be the light of the world. Amen. You will be shining bright. Amen. And people will come to you and say, what happened? You say, I just received Jesus. Amen. And that's all. And I'm telling you, you will have a victory. Amen. Today is your victory moment. Amen. I'm telling you. Amen. Today is your victory. And you have to know that God loves you so much. That Amen. you are a son. You are a daughter. And you are loved so, so much. And we... Love you. Yes. And Amen. We care Amen. For That's you. why we're here. Yes, Amen. we care for you so much. So we have like two minutes. Vivian, give us, if you could give us a few words, how could you get someone to know about Jesus, about what, what God has done in your life? So I am so nonchalant and I am so easygoing. I'd like to think. So my way of sharing the love of Jesus is just building friendships, building relationships. Amen. You want to go eat? You want to go watch a movie? You will, and then it comes up naturally because the thing is, the Lord, he's a gentleman. So he's Amen. never going to rush. He's never going to be like, yo, you need to change your life right now. Otherwise, you're going to go to hell. I mean, yes, there is a time and place for repentance, but it's through his love and kindness. Amen. So, Amen. Friendships, relationships. Hallelujah. Well... We thank you tonight for joining, joining us on Vision TV. Um, we, we, we are going to be praying for you that God will transform your heart, that he will bless you tonight, that you'll be blessed tomorrow, and that you'll continue to be blessed as, as you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior because he is the light of the world. He will change your heart. He will bless you beyond measure. And you have, you have victory to look forward to. Amen. You are victorious. You have to claim it and say, I am victorious, right? Yeah. I am victorious. I am healed. I am restored, yeah. whatever it is, just say it and say it out to the atmosphere and God will do it for you. So thank you and God bless you. Thank you. Good night. Bless. Blessings.